Weber says education paved her road to space. The former NASA astronaut spoke about the value of education and her words inspired young Egyptians. It opened uh, my eyes to that the key to the future is space exploration. And I hope that I get the chance to the future, in the future to go to space. I think it's a bit far-fetched, but it's possible. Because uh, as Dr. Mary Weber explained, that uh, if, a door, if a door closes, another one opens. So she didn't, have the, she didn't even dream of becoming an astronaut, and yet she went to space two times. So it's very possible. It made many in the audience wonder if Egypt could have its own space program. But Egyptian experts say for now the country could benefit from certain space applications rather than establishing a full space program. We currently are more focused on solving the immediate problems of Egypt because there are so many issues that we can contribute to by science and technology and by spin-offs that we can make an immediate impact. Obviously, we cannot do this. Also, we have to think beyond that to, as I mentioned, dream and dream in the future. The dream of reaching space could be too expensive for Egypt, yet there could be another way to reach this goal, going regional. Is there a country that's too small? It's up to that country uh, as to you know, what makes sense for it. Should it invest more and a, a large percentage of its resources in the future versus the here and now? They have to decide if the African nations collaborate, not only can they pull res pool their resources together, but they can also pool different experiences and different cultures and different ways of approaching the problems, which is good for everybody. Weber's visit came to launch a $250 million initiative for nearly 2,000 Egyptians in higher education and funded by the U.S. aid. No dream is too big or too far to be achieved. Inspirational words from a NASA astronaut who came here to encourage young Egyptians to seek higher education by telling her story in space. Having a space program might not be a priority for Egypt or most African countries at this stage. But if African nations collaborate, a dream about an African space program could become a reality. Adil Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.